Why is all this happening? Because our system of government is falling. We're going into foreign bank receivership. Now, we hope in the, in, in the, in the choices of bad to worse that they just hype it to inject people with sterilization compounds and, and cancer viruses and to make tens of billions off these vaccines. That's, that's on the bad, but not the worse. They could actually put out something that kills a bunch of people to really create a panic so more people take the shots that have the soft kills that the White House science czar talks about and says they're going to put in your vaccines and put in your water. I mean, I mean, they're not playing games. They may go with the mass culling. I believe, though, it's just going to be more fear-mongering to train us to go under level six under UN control and to get people to take the soft kill shots and to practice having trips on the streets for bigger biological releases in the future. Because their psychological tactic is create a crisis, restrict, people resist, back off a little but not as much. Then squeeze in again. The people say, we've had enough. They back off a little. Then as soon as our resistance dissipates, they squeeze again. We get angry. They back off a little. And over time, they squeeze us. That's the psychology. But their whole agenda is stalling and falling apart, so they may go with something bigger. Sprinkled in terror attacks. Saying Al-Qaeda did it. Linking up with white Al-Qaeda, you know, the, the American people. They're saying fear everyone. They're now putting out the script. I see the preconditioning for that. They may launch a war with Iran. I mean, they're going for broke. Everything's lined up for them. I've never seen such a buildup of the establishment's operations. Now, I've got Steve Quell with us. I just wanted to, because I know I, this video, I'm asking listeners to spread it everywhere, to make it go viral, because if we expose them enough, they may back off and not do the really bad stuff and just do the soft kill operation, which is bad enough, but we can warn people, and that buys us some time. We're trying to triage here. It, it may even blow up in their face, and they may back off on the whole program. But they're going to keep coming back, coming back. That's their M.O. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, everything is lined up for this. And they're doing weird quarantines secretly at high schools, Dripping Springs yesterday. One of my employees' husbands works there. They, they locked it down, wouldn't let the kids go home, wouldn't let uh, the, the coaches go home, but said national security, don't tell anybody. This was all over. This was all over one kid who got a fever. And then, of course, now they're telling him, oh, don't worry, it was probably nothing. They don't even know if it was swine flu. See, it... But they're, they're doing grassroots psyops everywhere so that everybody will be scared and take the shot. Now, Steve Quayle wrote a book back in the mid-90s documenting all this. We can see what they're building. Steve, I know I've been ranting the last 10 minutes here. Break down comments on what I've just said, the history of what we saw, the intel you're getting, and then let's move in to the future of what they're planning and all the other facets. Steve Quayle, great to have you here with us. Thanks, Alex. Well, first of all, this is it. And if this is the end game, how appropriate your title for your video. The, the whole thing that I'm hearing and seeing in play now is multiple strains of vaccines, double talk, but the implementation, Alex, and all my sources say they're going for broke. They have backed off in the past, but now the arrogance, and this is coming from people who live in the realm of uh, the Illuminati circles. They know that their, quote, game is up. The thing that most people are missing, you've been talking about, I've been talking about, but isn't it fascinating how the fast-track vaccination program with no independent surveys, safety surveys, U.S. government mandating, martial law declared, who, you know, the World Health Organization not trading or even uh, sharing actual cases that are happening. In other words, the thing is to say it's not going to scare us into submission. It's the vilification of the American public. Let me share something. In the last uh, week, a very high-ranking high and high-level intelligence official deep within the caverns of their world broke ranks. I don't know the guy, don't know his name or anything, but the point is that he said he will not take part in the death of 25 to 50 million people. Now, Alex, this is the thing. This isn't just to scare people. The scare is working, obviously, the fear, 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 fear. And you and I went on record as saying this was not it when you had me on your show that night. this We said this is not it. This is setting us up for the fall. I think people are losing track of what these, these mouthpieces for uh, the Department of Human Sacrifice are saying. 
And by the way, Alex, this thing is kicking into such high speed that I'm going to encourage everyone to call their senators. And, and look, we know that enough pressure is already on them for the uh, all of the, the different uh, town hall meetings and everything on this health care bill. Look at the insanity of that coupled with the orchestration of the implementation of martial law. Listen, every day goes by, we hear of more military troops being placed. You've laid out for the people the psychological conditioning of military troops that were trained in Iraq and Afghanistan, house-to-house weapon searches. We've always heard, oh, there are too many guns. Well, unfortunately, I hope, or fortunately, I hope that's true. Unfortunately, I don't think it is, because most people, most, quote, sportsmen and average gun owners are not trained in the skills of modern combat. The thing that is really irritating to me is, is that this next round of uh, scare tactics, look, they could parade out uh, a Hollywood production of people dying and bleeding out of their eyes, ears, nose, throat, and other orifices, and basically claim that it's Ebola. We have that story, by the way, you covered it in Texas, of a couple of uh, people literally having some form of a hemorrhagic disease. One hundred of the world's preeminent scientists have been murdered, assassinated, liquidated over the last 10 years. Well, the flu shot itself, which they admit is live virus in, in, in many of the varieties they're testing, many top virologists are in the news saying that all this testing of live virus vaccines could actually cause an outbreak, and that's the perfect way to mutate a virus is to inject it into a bunch of people. They're doing the main swine flu testing in Texas. Absolutely. Hey, here's the word that people have got to get used to, uh, a word called mutagenic, okay? That means that it's the, a mutation or the ability to the, of the viruses to incorporate any of the pre-planned defenses against them. Listen, these people are straight out of the cauldrons of hell. And the idea, and, and what's the difference if somebody's going to come put a gun in your head, blow your brains out, or give you an injection in which you die later? There are multiple strains of the vaccine for different people according to their perceived threat against the federal government. Steve Quayle, stay there. Continue to break all this down, the different facets on the other side. Your calls are coming up in the next hour on the Flu Martial Law Takeover Program. The New World Order Beast is genetically modifying your food, mixing vegetables with animals, and now experimenting with viruses. Without a long-term long food solution, you will have just two options. Starve surrender. or surrender. surrender. All, canned food All canned food supplies will eventually run out. What then? Then... Grow your own healthy food and feed your family forever. SurvivalistSeeds.com is now the nation's largest bulk heirloom seed company. And it's owned by a real patriot, Big John Lipscomb. You can now, you can have, now have an infinite amount of healthy vegetables like a watermelon, a bundle of carrots, or tomatoes for a little more than a penny each. SurvivalistSeeds.com. And now you can go into business with Big John at SurvivalistSeeds.com by becoming an affiliate. See his link at SurvivalistSeeds.com. During that whole flu hysteria that the government and the media created, over a few hundred people dying in Mexico and the United States, maximum, most of those turned out to have died of other illnesses or were already on breathing machines or had cancer or were very elderly. I forgot during that whole hysteria to point out I had foreseen all this in March, on the March 5th shows specifically, and said they're going to launch a massive flu hysteria, whether it actually kills a bunch of people or not, because I saw them building the mass graves, telling local police, get ready for troops to be on the streets. Now, suddenly, for any and all reasons, they're putting troops on the streets after they built this up for years. They didn't just do this overnight. And so I see decades of preparation and taking over local governments and paying people off and all of the psyops and the Hollywood movies showing troops with the police and, and troops at the Kentucky Derby and Super Bowl all coming together now and... I would say there's an 80% chance that they're going to go with it in the fall and that this is the big one. Now, if we get the word out and scream bloody murder, Steve Quayle, do you have any hope that we can back this off if we just go absolutely wild and get the information out? But well, adding I, to I that, do, most Alex, people... I do, I do in one respect. I, I really believe that when we're appealing to 
the individuals in the military and law enforcement that if we can give them enough information. I, I mean, there are there are uh, 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 people out there that are listening to you and I that control the most powerful weapons in the world, that control uh, things that most people don't even know exist. And I'm talking about those that have that systems that echo through the universe that literally should should put a stop to this. Because look, if a general in the in the intelligence community, and by the way, people don't understand that that when people break rank with uh, multiple stars, and I'm talking to the National Security Agency and other places, it costs them an effective. They're, they're, they're signing a death sentence to themselves. So my hope is, is that by your program, my program, and all the different things we're saying, let me, let me just give you one statement that we've got to get on record, okay? There, uh, Dr. May Wan Ho and biologist Professor Joe Cummings have written that vaccines themselves can be dangerous, especially live attenuated viral vaccines or the new recombinant nucleic acid vaccines. They have the potential to generate the vi virulent viruses by recombination. The recombinant nucleic acids could cause autoimmune diseases. What that means, and this is something that people have got to understand.